Hello and welcome back to another video. Now today I want to talk about something that and is just an idea I've had and I think this would be a really good idea for Nintendo to do. Now we all know that a video game getting dislike bombed or well review bombed is a big problem especially for game devs like your your um game gets negative review bombed because X reason there and the people who are reviewing it don't even own the game let alone even played it then then you know you you're just gonna then people are gonna read those reviews and say oh well this is a bad game and then you're gonna lose out on money and we sort of seen, seen this in action with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee uh, where myself and other people ha actually went into the reviews for that for those games and there were like zeros for like uh, reviews that were either like um, what well, they said in it didn't necessitate a zero rating such as it has them saying it had good parts in it but it's still zero even though zero means that there's nothing redeemable about it um, not actual there was even some that weren't even real reviews like that I remember seeing one that no, I don't think this was on mine. I think this was on someone else's channel. There was one where it's just like, uh, ju uh, don't stop complaining about people uh, review bombing this." And it's just like, "You, that's a review bomb. You made a fake review right there to lower his review score. You idiot." And then there's some that um, either didn't talk any talk about the game really. Or just you was, or just talked about uh, um, footage that we've seen from the trailers, not really giving any evidence to say that I we could definitely say okay that was in the trailer, so we know that they've played the game. Now there were there were other um, legitimate reviews, but they were mostly drowned out by all the review bombing, um, just because it wasn't a conventional Pokemon game. Now Nintendo could solve this quite easily, strangely enough. Like, completely snub review bombing out, pretty much. And here's how they do it. On the eStore, they uh, when, they add a review function, and when you go to work, make a review, it first checks to see if you've played this game, because if you didn't know, your Nintendo Switch will keep track of all the games you've played and for how long. So, should have got this quickly first, but I'll just grab it now. My Nintendo Switch. If I go to my profile, Cave Blazers played for twenty years, uh, three uh, played twenty three hours ago. Uh, Smash Bros Ultimate played for sixty five hours or more. Uh, Minecraft played for three hundred and forty five hours or more. City Skylines played for fifty hours. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe played for ninety five hours. Stardew Valley played for three hundred and fifteen hours. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders played for five hours or more. Let's Go Pikachu played for 70 hours, Fallout Shelter played for 15 or more hours, Underhill played for 5 or more hours, Let's Go Eevee played for 2 or more hours, YouTube 5 or more, and so on and so forth. Um, so what the eShop could do is they would check your profile, because this is all in my profile here, they could check your profile. See, so say I wanted to leave a review on the Cave Blazers. So okay, let's go to your profile quickly. Um, you have played Cave Blazers, so it would then let me d leave a review. And it's like, and it was like, it is a fun game. Um, uh, and uh, you know, lots of fun, lots of replayability, so on and so forth. And then it posts the review. But not only that, then they could also put underneath it played for X amount of time because it records how much time you have played. Now I don't know why they haven't done this already because they seem to set it up perfectly to also now everything's orange. There we go. Um, they've seemed to set this up perfectly and there was even a review system in the eShop but then that got removed in an update. So this would essentially remove review bombing because you wouldn't, because this works with cartridges and downloadable uh, 
uh, from the east store because if I go to let's go Pikachu quickly that little thing there before there that means the cartridge is not inserted so it works for cartridges and uh, um, downloaded uh, games so this could that would essentially erase review bombing because nobody's going to buy a an ex a triple a game or any game really they're not going to spend money on a game they're never going to play just to leave a negative review and then they'd have to play so like maybe make it so that you can leave a review if you haven't played it for an entire hour or something they're not and um, obviously they'd be ways around that like getting your friend to lend you a cartridge or um you know, and then just leaving it on and not playing and just let the timer go up to an hour like you could obviously do that but essentially this would eradicate review bombing and while Sony and Microsoft could do the same thing they and I know Microsoft themselves do have the gamer points but they don't track how much time you spent in the game so far I know where the Nintendo Switch does. And it's so what it seems like they set it up to do this already. They have all the pieces in place. They just need to release an update with e store review, e shop reviews, and uh, um, link it and then have the e store be able to read a profile. So select your profile before leaving a review or use the profile that you use when you go into the e store. Because if I go here, if I want to go into the e store, uh, oh, not that. There we go. If I want to go to the e store, I need to select me first. So, um, just use the account that to get that's logged in when they uh, go into the e store. Oh, I think that's underneath the thing. So, yeah. Nope. Anyway. So that's just how Nintendo could eradicate um, review bombing, or at least for the Switch. Anyway, tell me what you think. Do you, do you think Nintendo should do that? And if you do think they should do that, tweet this to Nintendo. Like, we, if this needs to get Nintendo's attention because um, with people leaving reviews for games on the on the sites they have a tremendous amount of power because people who don't know anything about the game or you know and are just thinking about the game will look up a review and then if a, if a game gets review bombed then people aren't going to buy it are they but this would then mean that they don't need to, to look it up on the computer or anything they can look it up on the switch and it, uh, um it's the thing this could save user reviews because like I said, people are review bombing. They're abusing their power to basically leave a review on the product. And that is costing companies more and more money. And these companies will eventually stop letting that happen. Now, what they will probably do is not have reviews on their console. Review, be able not to let you review stuff on their console. That would, that would be the first step. The next step will be taking down review websites either via money or you know giving them money to close it down or legal threats because it it can seriously impact their fine their finances so they are within their rights to sue and then because people review bombed games that they didn't want to do good Nobody yet gets to review anything outside of YouTube videos any, anymore, and that's not really something I want to see happen. Like, sure, I could if that happened, then I could switch my channel to solely video game reviews and uh, just make a ton of get a ton of views and stuff from that. But I don't want my only way to find out if a game is good or not is by watching somebody's video. I want to be able to just like quickly go like go on Google and say okay um, Dead Cells um, re review and it's like okay so it's got this 
uh, I don't want to have to go through an entire video. Anyway, so yeah, um, I definitely think this is something Nintendo not only uh, could but should do. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.